All right, hello everybody. Today we are talking about Workbench, and Workbench is a really helpful tool for both administrators and developers. And we're gonna to touch on four different things. So first we'll talk about how we can get a view into the objects that are inside of our org from Workbench. We'll talk about how we can, just by clicking, create queries, SQL queries within Workbench. Um, we'll talk about how we can manage data in bulk that's in our org. That could be inserting or updating records. And then lastly, we'll touch on how we can explore the different REST endpoints within our org. So all of these are functionalities that are available in Workbench. Let's get started. The first step, as always, is just to go ahead and log in. Now, once I log in, uh, I always go to my setup page. It's just a habit that I have. Um, but we don't actually need to do this because we're going to open a new tab and we're going to go to this website, workbench.developerforce.com. Now, once that loads, I'm going to check the box and I'm going to click Log in with Salesforce. And since we're already logged in, it should automatically work. Now, this first menu you see, it has all the options for the different functionality that's provided by Workbench. I'm going to go to Standard and Custom Objects, and I'm going to select an object, Account. Now, once I select that, I get a view into that object. I can see its child relationships. I can see its field and fields and different information about those fields. For example, um, if I open up Industry, I can actually see all the pick list values that are available for that industry field. Now, also what I can do is I can go and look at the attributes of this object. And at the bottom, we have these URLs. And we can use these URLs, for example, to take us straight to the page to create a new object. And so these URLs can actually be really useful to embed elsewhere throughout the org. All right, so we've seen that. Now let's take a look at one of the biggest functionalities, which is SQL queries. So we'll go to the Queries tab, and we'll click on SQL Query. And this actually gives us a view to build our own query just through clicks. So we'll select Opportunity, and holding down Command, I can select whatever fields I want to see in this query. Um, so I'll just select a few fields and execute the query. And there I can see a list of records has been returned in a tabular form. So now I want to sort them. I'm going to sort them by amount uh, descending. And you can see it's gone ahead and done that. And it looks like actually I have a couple of blank values at the top. So I'm going to filter those out. Again, I make a couple clicks. I select amount not equal to, and I type in null. And if I query that, boom, immediately you'll see those two records have disappeared. So now I have the view that I wanted. And I want to download it. So I'm going to select bulk CSV. I'm going to click Query. And now it's ready to be downloaded. So I'll click that little download icon. And there we go. I'm going to have this same view available to me, but in Excel, for example, which in, in some cases might be an easier tool to work with. So what I could do is I, I could actually go through and edit some of these records. And if I wanted to, I could jump back into Workbench, click on that Data tab, click on Update, and then choose that file I was just working on to go and update those in bulk. All right, so last but not least, let's actually check out our REST Explorer. So this is going to give us a really simple way to explore the different REST endpoints that are open within our org. Uh, one of those REST endpoints is S-Objects. So that gives us a similar view into all of the different objects that exist in our org. And we can actually see um, information about those objects, as well as URLs that we can use to interface with our REST system. So this is extremely useful. Um, but another piece of functionality that I really like is that you can use this to test your own REST endpoints. So if, for example, I were to type slash apex REST slash some endpoint that I'd built, I could actually post or get uh, information from that endpoint. Like, for example, I could post a key value pair and make sure that my endpoint was functioning properly. So this is actually a really good debugging or diagnostic tool when you're building your own endpoints. All right, and that's all. Try to keep it really quick, really brief. Uh, if this video was helpful to you, consider subscribing or liking. Uh, if you have a question, go ahead and post it in the comments. Uh, I'll try to get back to you. Thank you, guys. See you in the next one.